Happy Tuesday! Um, we started a little earlier today, um, but these are the crafts we're doing today. We're going to do a snowflake ornament and also the star ornament. This, these are both made out of clothespins. These are the metal parts of the clothespin. That's what we're using. So we're going to do the snowflake first. This is what you need. You will need eight of the normal size clothespins and four of the man, man, medium clothespins. So this is, we need to take them apart. So I'm going to show you, you just twist them sideways and you just take them apart. Hey guys, I hope everyone is having a very good day. Just pull them sideways and eventually the metal thing will come up. And also you will need 10 of these metal pieces, so you need to take part 10. So now how we're going to make the petal things for the snowflakes, these little parts, you will need to glue the um, flat part with the flat part to make this kind of shape. So I'm using wood glue. You can use hot glue or wood glue. But wood glue sticks it better together. That's my recommend to use this. But you can use whatever glue that works for you. So I'm going to glue. Maybe if you use wood glue, use a light layer of glue so it won't um, go on the sides. And I hope, I know, I know yeah. most of the people is at work right now. But and thank you for everybody watching. And you just put it together and try to make it straight. Make sure your surface has parchment paper on it so it won't stick to nothing with the wood glue. Because if you have a wood surface, it will definitely stick really good. So make sure you have parchment paper on your thing. And here's the small one. I'm going to show you how to glue it. It's the same way, but a little smaller. Also, I got all the clothespins from Dollar Tree. Also, there's a smaller kind too if you want to add more layers to your snowflake. But I'm just using two today. And you would just glue it together like this too. And we want um, we want to say that we're going to have a Christmas play this Saturday. You guys want to come, please send us a message. We just want to know who's coming, and you want to come, just send us a message. So after you glue um, these, you will need eight of them. So I glued them ahead of time, so I have eight pieces here. And I also glued the smaller kind, too. I got four of them, like that. Um, now I'm going to show you how you glue, um, how you want to glue um, the snowflake. You will want three layers, so you want to glue four together for each layer. Let me show you. So this part right here, you want to glue each one to. So like this, you would want to glue each part like that. Four of them together. So I'm going to glue four. And also, and also, I know this is a little far away. In, in on New Year's, we're gonna be having a new, and we're gonna be having a New Year's. We're gonna stay up to New Year's the night and twelve o'clock. We're gonna stay up to twelve for New Year's. Please come, and and we hope everyone comes for the New Year's. So you glue for, and then try to straighten it as best as possible. Don't know if you can see it. But I have it um, in the fours and pushing them together really good. And you will do two of the big ones. And then the small one, I will show you how to do the small one too. It's just like that. You will glue um, the little area right here. And then you put them together like this. Like that. And it will turn into like a circle around. So I'm going to glue them together, four of them. Did I 
I got one the full one. So, um, these, if you use Gorilla Glue, it will dry in a little bit, like it dries quicker. So, for like 20 minutes or 10 minutes compared to how much glue you have on it. So, I'm going to move these to the side and show you, because I have some that's already made, glued together. So, you have these two big sides like this, four of them. So, how you glue it would be, um, you glue one side, so let me get glue on really quick. So you want to, like, do it like this, like they're not on the same sides, so like that, you do it. And then you can glue your little one too, too. So wait a minute. So... Let me get the little one. Sorry. I'm not talking so much, but... This is Megan's second live, and she was... She was always nervous about doing this stuff. I'm very proud of my sis for doing this. And, and I'm just grateful for my amazing sis. So, and she loved this. I never got to love crafts, and I'm grateful she loves crafts. So, it would turn out like that. So that's all you have to do, but you can add more layers if you want to, like um, like this one. You can add a fourth one. It's compound how you want to make your snowflake. So also, there's a good um, idea for to do. Um, we have these names. This is like that game Scramble. Is it called Scramble? Um, but we got these from Dollar General. Like they're in a bag, I think near the Christmas area. So you can look down and see, or you buy the game. So we put our names, like we just glued it with wood glue. You could do it this way or that way, but we chose to do this way. So you just put some glue on it. All the back of this may go. Put some glue, wood glue, and you'll glue it onto that. We'll sorry you about have a name. Um, this is a good gift for somebody if you want to give them a ornament like keepsake for each um, Christmas. This would be good for that. So you'll let that dry and that's the finish. This is your snowflake. So our second ornament is going to be a star ornament. This is made out of the metal pieces of it. So you would need 10 metal pieces. So they'll be like this. So you have to use 10 um, clothes pins. So you could also make a smaller one like that. I made a little baby one. So this is how you do star ornament. So I have five already put together so it won't take as long to show y'all. So, you'll break, not break, but pull apart the pieces. You'll put them in the little holes right there, and you just try to, sometimes they might not go in too great, so you might have to push hard and try to wiggle it in like that so you get it. So, you just do that till you get all the pieces. So, I'm just going to try to get them all in for you. So, push it in. Sometimes they don't want to, but it'll still look great. So you still put some in. Push it in. And then I'll show you how to make the star. So we got, got two more to put in. This one don't want to go in good. There we go. And then one more. And we all saw about our dog. You might hear him in the background. He's wanting this stuff. And he's just having fun. 
and you might hear like a big running sound that's color. So you got 10. So you would get the last piece and the circle of the last piece and make it like in a circle. And you pull it apart and put it into it. So, that got it in. There you go. Now you will form a star with it. Make start with the point and then you start pushing them out and make a point on each side. So, here we go. Do you get the star? Sometimes it's difficult compare what the song is doing at the moment. So, about got it. I just don't want to go. Hold on. Hold on. Just make sure I put 10 on there. Hold on a minute. I hope everyone having a good week. So, I don't want to turn the store right now. Sorry about that. Sorry, it's taking a while. I just don't want to film right now. I hope everyone is enjoying that cold weather right now and and as tomorrow's gonna be a lot warmer and I hope everybody is ready for more cold or right at Christmas. Take out extreme added extra. There we go. I I accidentally added the extra one knife. No. <laughs> okay. Um. After you make it your star, you will get some clear glue. But this is only glue I had right now. But I think you get glitter glue, the clear kind, or get um the super glue be really good to make sure it don't move. So you would just. The little holes there, just add some glue to each one. Just add some glue. And also when it dries, flip it over and add some more glue. When it's all dry on this side. So when you get all that done, you can um, get some twine like this and put it on or ribbon to look great. And then you're done for, for the star one. Also, there's another idea you could do um, for the snowflake. You can put another um, clothespin on the back and clip it onto things if you want to. You can like make a garland if you want to or put it on the Christmas tree. And also you need twine for the top if you want to do it like that. Um, and thank y'all so much for watching how to make the snowflake and star ornament. I hope y'all all have a great day. Bye y'all. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.